Dr. Floyd visited the Ministry's Department of Geo Surveys and Mines to gain insight into the state of Uganda's nuclear testing facilities, essential for data collection, crucial in construction projects. In a world where there may, might not be any nuclear weapons left, we still need the international monitoring system to keep everyone honest. So we need to keep supporting this forever. That is why we need young people to be trained up to pass the baton. Following the G77 summit, Dr. Floyd engaged with Ministry of Energy officials, emphasizing the importance of having nuclear stations as part of the global network to maintain disaster detection. He urged the implementation of the Comprehensive Nuclear Testing Ban Treaty for the benefit of member states, emphasizing the need for secure nuclear testing facilities. Your one station is a part of the global network which keeps every country honest. That's the work of a big elephant, and I want to congratulate you. Well done. Your work with the NBC, your international monitoring system station, and makes for a safer, more secure world for everyone. State Minister for Energy and Mineral Development, Peter Lokeris, who received the delegation, expressed government's commitment to the Treaty on Nuclear Testing. We are well, nuclear, we think it is for fighting. No, for many activities in your everyday life, they are in hospital, we use them in agriculture, for our crops, we use them also in schools, and all this must be tested so that they are not harmful to society. Acting Commissioner of Geological Surveys, Dr. Fred Tugume, cited limited participation in implementing the treaty due to resource constraints. For these facilities, which are actually used for monitoring earthquakes, the technology used in monitoring the nuclear explosion, the same technology which we used for, for monitoring the, the, the nuclear explosion, and helps in planning. The Comprehensive Nuclear Testing Ban Treaty Organization, formed in 1966, aims to prohibit countries from using nuclear chemicals. Uganda, a member of the treaty, continues to contribute to this global initiative. Aviona Francisco, UBC News.